there's always a chance, of course, that they'll change Mr. Kane without his knowing it. Mr. Leland! I got a cable from Mr. Kane! Mr. Le Mr. Leland! Mr. Leland, I got a cable here from Mr. Kane! What? From Paris, France! What? Look, Paris, France! Come on in! Who by his action Say, has Mr. Leland, action magnets I... on the run. It's a good thing he promised not to send back any more statues. Bernstein, Bernstein. Look, he wants to buy the world's biggest diamond. Mr. Leland, why didn't you go to Europe with him? He wanted you oh, to. Oh, wanted Charlie to have fun with me along. Bernstein, am I a stuffed shirt? Am I a horse-faced hypocrite? Am I a New England school marm? Yes. If you thought I'd answer you any different from what Mr. Kane tells you, well, all I wouldn't. All right, all right. World's biggest diamond. I didn't know Charlie was collecting diamonds. He ain't. He's collecting somebody that's collecting diamonds. Anyway, he ain't only collecting statues. Welcome home, Mr. Kane, from 467 employees of the New York Inquirer. Here he comes! Oh, yeah. Well, I know, but have you got a society? Have we a society editor? Uh, Thousands of society editors. Uh, Miss Townsend, this is Mr. Well, Charles uh, Foster Kane. Uh, uh, Townsend, I have... I've been away so long, I don't know your routine. I, uh, I've got a little uh, social announcement. I wish you wouldn't treat it any differently than you would any other social announcement. Uh, Mr. Kane. Mr. Kane, on behalf of all the employees of the Inquirer... Mr. Bernstein, I... thank you very much, everybody. I... I'm sorry. I, I can't accept it. Oh. No. Goodbye. Say, he was in an awful hurry. Hey! Hey, everybody. Looky out here. Let's go to the window. Thomas Monroe Norton. Uh, Mr. Leland. Uh, Mr. Bernstein. Yes, Miss Townsend. This, this announcement. Mr. and Mrs. Thomas Monroe Norton announced the engagement of their daughter, Emily Monroe Norton, to Mr. Charles Foster Kane. Huh? Come on. Emily Monroe Norton. She's the niece of the President of the United States. President's niece, huh? Before he's through, she'll be a president's wife. <laughs> the way things turned out, I don't need to tell you. Miss Emily Norton was no rosebud. It didn't end very well, did it? It ended. Then there was Susie. That ended, too. You know, Mr. Thompson, I was thinking, this rosebud you're trying to find out about. Yes? Maybe that was something he lost. Mr. Kane was a man who lost almost everything he had. You want to see Jed Leland. Of course, he and Mr. Kane didn't exactly see eye to eye. You take the Spanish-American war. I guess Mr. Leland was right. That was Mr. Kane's war. We didn't really have anything to fight about. But do you think if it hadn't been for that war of Mr. Kane's, we'd have the Panama Canal? I wish I knew where Mr. Leland was. A lot of the time now, they don't tell me these things. Maybe even he's dead. In case you'd like to know, Mr. Bernstein, he's at the Huntington Memorial Hospital on 180th Street. Why, you don't say I had no Nothing idea. Nothing particular the matter with him, they tell me. Just... Just... old age. It's the only disease, Mr. Thompson, that you don't look forward to being cured of. I can remember absolutely everything, young man. That's my curse. That's one of the greatest curses ever inflicted on the human race, memory. I was his oldest friend, and as far as I was concerned, he behaved like a swine. Not that Charlie was ever brutal. He, he just did brutal things. Maybe I wasn't his friend, but if I wasn't, he never had one. <laughs> Maybe I was uh, 
what you nowadays call a, a stool. Mr. Shot. Leland, you were uh, going to you say something about Rosebud. You don't have a good cigar, do you? I've got a young physician.